Hello everyone, I'm Sumin Kim from KAIST. Today I want to introduce reflection removal method using rendered training images. When we want to take a picture over the glass but without a special tool like this, reflected back scene is captured together which can degrade front view content. So here we want to remove the reflection from the image. Since single image reflection removal work is highly a proposed problem, many learning-based reflection removal methods are proposed. For the network to learn the separation, it needs ground truth pair for reflection-free and reflection images. Because it is hard to capture a massive amount of real-world reflection image pairs, most of the learning-based methods synthesize random two images without physics, like in this procedure. In this work, we propose to generate reflection training image pairs with rendering so that the training images can contain some additional physical cues. They are source images for reflection generation, real reflections, and comparison. Our rendered reflection target to produce the specially variant visual effect that are most similar to real-world reflection image. With physically based rendering, we could deconstruct the problem with its physical process. So to do that, we utilize these existing RGBD and RGB dataset. With given depths or synthesized depths, we create meshes for its image. For rendering, we pick two scenes from the mesh processed dataset and assign one for front scene transmission and the other for back scene reflection. So, assume the glass is placed in between like this, I is the input image with reflection, and T is the front scene transmission, and R tilde is the back scene reflected by a glass, and R is the back scene image without any lens and glass effect. Especially with these two image pairs, we could build additional subnetwork called Backtrack Network, in short BTNet. This BTNet is trained to reverse back the glass reflected back scene to original intensity back scene. So with BTNet, we can calculate a priori loss, which is the loss between predicted R and ground truth R that has no lens and glass effect. This is the overview of our network structure. The main idea here is we want to measure the separation quality with and without the lens and glass distortion. As shown in the overview figure, our system consists of two sub-networks, backtrack network and separation network. When training, we first individually pre-train BTNet with common L1 feature and adversarial loss. This is the example training pair. And after training some time for BTNet, this pre-trained BTNet is connected to main separation network SPNet. When training SPNet, BTNet's output is used for calculating a priori loss. SPNet's loss term consists of classical a posteriori loss and a proposed a priori loss. For the result comparison, we utilize two real image dataset and one rendered test set. This is the example of SIR wild dataset's result comparison. The weak white line is the reflection. And some method removes wrong pipe and some changes over a color tone, but ours achieved the most similar result to ground truth image. This is another example result comparison from our real 100 collected images. Ours can remove the reflection well. We also did numerical comparison. This is the quantitative result of different method. As the number shows, ours can achieve the best result among the other methods. In order to see our dataset effect more clearly, we fine-tune the pre-trained SailNet and JunksNet with our rendered training images, which is denoted as FR. And here for comparison, we also generate training images with one data generation method with the same source images with ours, and we fine-tune with them as well, which is denoted as FW. As you can see, our dataset can improve overall quality of pre-trained net by supplying more physical-based cues. Thank you for your attention.